hello and welcome to the session on multiplexer in this video we shall see what is a 2 is to 1 multiplexer the general form of a multiplexer is given by Two power n is to one, where two power n is your input and one is your output. If I compare the mux given to us, that is two is to one mux with the general form, I can get information about number of inputs. number of outputs and number of select lines that is n see if i compare 2 is to 1 mux with 2 power n is to 1 i can see number of select lines that is n will be equal to 1 number of inputs is 2 and output is 1 with this information let us draw the block diagram of 2 is to 1 max If I represent 2 is to 1 mux by this block, then I know there are two inputs D0, D1. There is one select line S. There is one output Y and one enable input. This is your block diagram or the logic symbol. Let us see how to write the function table of 2 is to 1 multiplexer. The difference between a truth table and a function table is that in the function table, the outputs are given in terms of inputs whereas in a truth table the output is given as either true or false so the function table of 2 is to 1 max will have two input columns first one is enable second one is select It will have one output y. Now I know when enable is zero, irrespective of the select line, the output is always zero. That is, the mux is disabled. Now when enable is one and the select line is zero, d0 gets connected to y. So output is D0. Now if enable is 1 and select line is 1, then D1 is connected to Y. So I'll get D1 as the output. This is your function table of 2 is to 1 max. Let us now write the truth table. So for a truth table, we will have four input columns. First one is enable, 
second one is select third one is d1 fourth one is d0 and i'll have single output y now when enable is 0 irrespective of the select lines and the data present on data lines d0 and d1 output is always 0 now when enable is 1 and select line is 0 I know that d0 gets selected so irrespective of d1 if d0 is 0 then the output is 0 and for the same condition if d0 is 1 then the output is 1 now when enable is 1 and select line is 1 we know d1 is connected to the output so irrespective of d0 whatever value is present at d1 will be the output so if d1 is 0 then the output is 0 for the same condition enable 1 select 1 and d0 will be don't care if d1 is 1 then the output is 1 I can derive the expression for the output by drawing the k map and simplifying that or there is one more way that is I can select the row where the output is 1 and write the expression for those particular rows so I can see the output is 1 for this row and this so my output expression will be y is equal to e since s is 0 here I'll write s bar d1 is don't care so that won't be there and d0 or it with e s d1 so this is your output expression I can write the logic diagram for this output expression which will also be your logic diagram for the 2 is to 1 max so the output expression was y is equal to e s bar d0 and e s d1 now i can use two three input and gates and one two input or gate and one not gate because we have s and s bar so these two are your three input and gates and i will have one two input or gate one not gate this input is s this will be s bar which is connected to one of the AND gate and s is connected to the other AND gate I will have enable input which is connected to both the AND gate and I will have D0 here and D1 here so this will be your output y so I can see I have d0 e s bar s e d1 that is this one let us now see the working of a 2 is to 1 multiplexer when enable is 0 the enable is connected to and gate 1 
and AND gate 2. So one of the inputs to the AND gate is 0. So the output of both the AND gates will be 0. And the output expression will be 0. When enable is 1, the MUX is enabled. That is, the inputs to both AND gate 1 and 2 will be 1, these two. Now, depending on the SELECT line and DATA line, the output value will be given. So if the select line is 0, so when S is 0, I know this one will be 0. So since one of the input to the second AND gate is 0, this will be disabled and S bar will be 1. And depending on the value of D0, the output will be given that is if d0 is 0 then this will be 0 hence output will be 0 if d0 is 1 the output of first AND gate will be 1 and output will be 1 so when enable is 1 and select is 0 AND gate 2 is off and y will become d0 that is if d0 is 0 then output is 0 or if d0 is 1 then y is 1 similarly when enable is 1 and select line is also 1 Then I can see if select line is 1, S bar will become 0 and S will be 1. Since one of the input to the first AND gate is 0, first AND gate will be off and whatever value is present at D1 will become your output. So when S is 1, AND GATE 1 is OFF and Y will be D1 that is if D1 is 0 then the output is 0 if D1 is 1 then the output is 1 we'll see 4 is to 1 multiplexer in the next video thank you